हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो आई एम सिमर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू मैथमेटिक्स ओके इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव कंप्लीटेड एक्सरसाइज नंबर 1.1 एंड वी हैव प्रैक्टिस्ड फर्स्ट 10 क्वेश्चंस ऑफ द चैप्टर दैट इज द क्वेश्चंस ऑफ एक्सरसाइज नंबर 1.1 सो टुडे वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग द एक्सरसाइज नंबर 1.2 सो फर्स्टली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इंटीजर्स ऑफ एडिशन एंड सबट्रैक्शन सो फर्स्टली वी विल डिस्कस दैट ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट firstly the properties of addition and subtraction of integers okay it is very clear that we are going to add or subtract the integers okay and we'll discuss the properties first first property closure under addition what it mean closure under addition it means that when you're adding two integers okay then the answer of the addition of these two integers should also be an integer this is what closure under addition mean okay that when you are adding any two integers then the answer of this operation should also be an integer okay so let's see students if i'm taking a is equals to 2 and b is equals to 1 we are a and b both are integers okay then a plus b should also be the integer so this is what closure under addition means okay so a plus b that is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 3 is students also an integer so this is what closure property means 3 is also an integer because we know that a is integer b is integer and the addition like a plus b that is 3 is also an integer okay so this is what closure under addition means okay so next property closure under subtraction what it mean similarly we can say if you are subtracting any two integers and the answer of the subtraction is also an integer okay and this property means closure under subtraction okay then if you are subtracting any two integers the answer should also be an integer okay for example students it is like that ki if a is equals to 3 and b is equals to 1 then a minus b is equals to 3 minus 1 that means it is 2 2 is also an integer okay so by this students we can say that integers are closed under addition and subtraction okay so now we'll discuss the next property the next property is the commutative property what is commutative property that the integers commute with each other okay but we should keep in our mind that integers only commute with each other under addition not subtraction okay i'll explain this so this is for addition firstly i'll tell you this thing okay it means that integers can be added up in any order okay say if i'm taking a is equals to 2 and b is equals to 3 if i'm adding it like a plus b is equals to 2 plus 3 it is equal to 5 all right and if i'm doing it like b plus a b plus a is equals to 3 plus 2 this is also 5 so we can clearly see a uh, scene that a plus b is equals to b plus a that is 5 and 5 so it means that integers commute under addition okay because it can be added up in any order we can do it like from left to right we can do it like from right to left okay so this is what commutative property under addition is all about so firstly we have just noticed that integers are commutative under addition but are they commutative under subtraction no they are not so it is like a minus b is not equal to b minus a this is for subtraction how i'll tell you take the example of same same example a is equals to 2 and b is equals to 3 so a minus b is equals to 3 2 minus 3 right 2 minus 3 is equals to minus 1 why is it minus 1 students 
because the larger number is a 3 and 3 contains a negative sign so the answer will also contain a negative sign okay this is minus 1 and if I'm, if I'm talking about b plus b minus a it is 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1 so minus 1 is not equal to 1 a minus b is not equal to b minus a so integers do not commute with each other under subtraction okay this was all about commutative property all right students so now we'll discuss for associative property what is associative property students associative property means that we can do the associations of integers okay we can make associations how let me tell you if i'm considering a as 2 b as 3 and c as 4 then according to this a plus b plus c we are first going to add b plus c because bracket is there so 2 plus 3 plus 4 3 plus 4 is equals to 7 so 2 plus 7 is equals to 9 okay so this is 9 second a plus b plus c in this we are going to firstly add a and b so 2 plus 3 plus 4 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 and 5 plus 4 is equals to 9 so this is also 9 so it means that in teachers associate okay they can form associations okay so let's move towards the fifth property fifth property is additive identity what is additive identity this is all about when we are adding a thing or a number to any integer okay then it is equal to that integer okay additive identity is the number or the integer that we are if we are adding that particular integer to this is the integer itself okay if a is equals to 4 then what should i add with 4 to get 4 will add 0 right so 0 is additive identity all right students so 0 is additive identity as if i'm going to add 0 to any integer i'll get that integer only okay so this was all about additive identity okay so now we'll discuss an example for this example is write down a pair of integers whose you have to write down a pair and different different parts are given firstly are, we are going to discuss first part the part a sum is minus 3 you have to write an integer whose sum is equals to minus 3 okay you have to write a pair if i'm taking minus 5 and 2 minus 5 and 2 if we are adding these two things if we are making the sum of this minus 5 and 2 it is equals to minus 3 okay so the pair is minus 5 and 2 okay one also case we'll see minus 6 and 3 minus 6 plus 3 is equals to minus 3 see minus 6 plus 3 is equals to minus 3 why here is minus because the number that is greater contains a negative sign okay the larger number contains a negative sign so the answer will also contain a negative sign all right students so now we'll discuss about the second part okay second part is difference is minus 5 pair of integer whose difference is equals to minus 5 if I'm taking it like minus 5 and minus 4 minus 9 and minus 4 then the difference is the here is a different sign right so minus 9 minus minus plus 4 is equals to minus 5 okay clearly we can see okay so the pair of integer is minus 9 and minus 4 okay you can also write it as minus 10 and minus 5 minus 10 minus minus 5 is equals to minus 10 plus 5 is equals to minus 5 okay students so this this is the pair of integer whose difference is minus 5 okay so now students will discuss the next part next part is difference is 2 very simple 
write any pair of integers whose difference is 2 okay it is very simple 5 minus 3 so the pair of integer is 5 and 3 4 and 2 okay 6 and 4 clearly you can see na difference is 2 if we are subtracting any two integers then the answer is 2 so next the fifth part that is sum sum should be 0 sum is 0 the t part any two integers whose sum is 0 4 and minus 4 4 minus 4 is equals to 0 4 and minus 4 okay we can also have like 5 and minus 5 5 plus minus 5 is equals to 5 minus 5 is equals to 0 okay students so these are the examples of exercise number 1.2 students will do the practice of exercise number 1.2 questions in our next class till then do study at your home bye bye